the review. Then you present it in an activist package. That's activist behavior. The next is practice. How can our instruction reflect this worldview? Maybe in the practice, that section is more on the skills, strategies, course planning. That's another set of discussion. Too often, the approach of IFL is discussed on strategies. Uh, am I correct, uh, Dr. Balina? Anyway, we have many seminars as Adventist teachers, but IFL is taught on strategies. Adventist thinkers have proposed a new approach, not only strategies, but thought patterns. Products, how can we assess and reflect this worldview? Let, let me give you an example. Maybe I will not allow me to finish this section for our presentation uh, this morning. The quadrant one, which is of Adventist education, is purpose. And let's look at this. When we look at quadrant one, which is purpose, what is God's intention? How can God's purpose be distorted? How does God help us to respond? How can we be restored to God's image? Well, those are all patterns. And when you look at this, let me, let me simply say it like this. When you talk about God, the foremost in Adventist worldview is these four things. Creation, fall, redemption, recognition. Correct? These are important things. That there is a creator, and that creator also created, you know, all of these things. And that's why Sabbath is important. I don't like to go into more people. That's why Seventh-day Adventist has more edge on this debate. The enemy wants to present something else. Praise the Lord for Saturday Adventists. Sabbath helps us to remember the God of creation. By presenting a God of math, because uh, Sir Hawaii asked how we present it, uh, yeah, it's hard, but let's start with what pattern first. Strategies later. You know, there's a website that you can have, you can have some suggestions. That's very easy. We can all do that. You can simply cut and paste and put it in your course online IFL already. But I think that's only for paper. What is more is your interaction with the students. That's more IFL to me. Now, uh, no offense to, to the people in the education department. I believe that curriculum, Course mapping is a hard work. I believe that. I will not stay in this education as a teacher if I don't believe that. I believe it. But what I'm trying to say is, if you look at Adventist purpose, worldview is built on these four things: creation, fall, redemption, recreation. Think with me. This summarizes our beliefs, isn't it? Recreation. Though death may happen, turn alive, heaven, hold, save, fall, redemption, God save, love, fall, sin, those are important things. Creation, the God of creation, who is God. I remember presenting one. One presentation on IFL in one conference, union conference meeting in Central Philippines. I told the teachers, and uh, I guess this came to my memory when you start reading, you start remembering, and okay, sometimes you just have to put notes. I told this to now. Several hundreds of teachers from Central Philippines. 
the best argument against the Adventist message is the Adventist teacher in the present. The best argument against the Adventist message is the Adventist teacher in the classroom. But it's the same way, the best argument for the message of the Bible of the Adventist church is the epitome of the Adventist teacher inside the classroom. Amen? Sometimes, it's not the content that we have. Sometimes, it might be the content, but I, I think, oftentimes, it is how we have thought and dealt with our students. 